Hey, I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery. Wedding season is here, and so today I'm gonna teach you how to make corsages. There's a couple of different ways that you can do it, and there's several different options of what you're going to add your flowers to. This is one that has a Velcro wristlet, and so you would just place this around, and then your corsage would be made on the top. So this could be a possibility. Or they even make ones that are completely a bracelet and you just slide it right over the top. Then when you get done, it's already attached to it and you're ready to go. So let's look at ways that we can make these. I'm going to do it on the silver beaded one. And I'm not gonna glue it in today, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to lay it out to make sure that I like how all the pieces fit together. Now, you can do the very traditional one that has ro your roses, baby's breath, a um, little bit of ribbon in it, or you can go with a um, more modern look, which is what I'm gonna show you today, and we're gonna use lots of grasses and just a hint of color in it. Of course, your corsages often match either the mother of the bride's dress or the bridesmaid's dresses. That's totally up to you. So I'm gonna start and I'm going to just add a little bit of greenery to one side. And then I'm going to add the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to keep putting my hand up to see what I think. Well, automatically I know that is entirely too long. So I want to come back into these pieces and I'm going to cut them very short. That way I'm not covering up their hands. So then I'm just going to cut the ends off so that it doesn't stay too long. And I've already realized, which is why it's important not to glue it on initially, that this isn't my favorite greenery. So I'm gonna come over and try boxwood and see if I like how that looks better. Again, I don't want to have it really long, so I'm going to cut it much shorter and that gives us double the amount of greenery that we can work with. And so I would start piecing out, laying out all my little pieces of grass onto my wristlet. And so I definitely like how this is starting to shape up. I think it's, it's looking good, okay? So then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Then I want to look at how do I want to add my flowers? Do I want flowers? Do I just want it to be even more grasses? That's totally up to you. But a hydrangea is one of my favorite flowers. And so what I've done is I've taken the gigantic hydrangea and I've cut off just little pieces of it. And so now I'm gonna start to come on and I'm going to lay my pieces of hydrangea over the top of it. So you can see now when I would pick it up and put it on my arm. It's starting, although that would be closer together. It's starting to fill out. And making a pretty corsage. So then I'm gonna add a second kind of greenery because I like the way mixed greenery looks. And you can see, you have to have a little patience on your layout. I've got my flowers there. And then I'm gonna come in with this fern-like grass. And I'm going to, this gives it a bit of a cascading look. So then I would be ready to glue it all on and then present it. On this one, I wouldn't want to add ribbon to it because this is a little bit more formal look and this one though has the ribbon, has the um, jewels in it. You can see the grasses on the side. And so it lays out very nicely on your arm. And this one has your traditional baby's breath and lays out just as beautifully on your arm. So thank you for joining us today. I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery.